Asian Football Confederation saw its best year yet in 2011. Japan won their fourth Asian Cup title after a commanding victory over rivals Australia. The women's team went on to clinch the FIFA World Cup. And there was a list of firsts as well. Nagoya Oceans became the first Japanese side to win the Asian Club Futsal Championship. Al Saad became the first Qatari club to win the AFC Champions League. And Nasaf became the first Uzbekistan side to win any AFC silverware. All the above, a sign of only one single element, rapid growth, which has been a measure of sorts when it comes to the development of football in the four corners of the continent. Football Asia caught up with AFC President Dong Ti Long on the following day of the glittering AFC awards ceremony to get his perspective. The development of football in Asia has been tremendous and fast-paced, and the motto of the AFC serves to inspire its members. Talking about Asian football, we know right, we still get some distance between uh, Asia and that of uh, what that was. But we did mind right, uh, we are going to catch that top table of uh, what level. As what our slogan saying right, the future is Asia. The meaning of this slogan is right, let's work all hard together to reach the peak of world football. Much credit for the development of football can be attributed to structural planning at the grassroots level. So while talking about the continuous way to move forward, that means right, first we should concentrate and focus on the youth football, which is we call the grassroots. This is the most important foundation for all the things. But for Asia, we need the strong and the solidarity, the football in the grassroots level, which is up to the youth and then come to that professional level. The aim of the AFC remains focusing on promising talent being exposed to the game at an early level. Talking about that, I think AFC have already organized, uh, let's see, uh, the under 14, we call the 14 festival for all the kids, or let's see, for this uh, young people to really get a feeling of a football so on the field. And also we organize uh, under 16, under 19, both men and women's uh, football to let all these age categories, I mean talent, the youngest to join with the atmosphere of football. Japan were the biggest contributors towards the development of football in the continent. Talking about uh, football in Japan, I'm a very proud right to the really show example in Asia for all the member associations of AFC to follow. That means right, we should reach to that standards. So we are very delighted and honored that this year the women's football, which we get the big victory through Japan, won the title of World Women's Championships. Women's football has been growing internationally for the last 23 years and the AFC were quick to further the initiative back home. The women's football, I think not only uh, start by the time when, let's see, uh, Japan won the world titles. But I think, right, uh, let's come back to the history of women's football world round. That is, right, the first women's uh, world football, I mean, have been organized on the field is in the year of 1991. We call the first women's championship to be organized and be launched by FIFA. And before that is the international women's football tournament, which also been organized by FIFA in the year of 1988, which from that year starts. Asia follows to launch the women's football in all the areas possibly for all the national, I mean, member associations. The AFC events in 2011 met with major success and the fans thronged the stadiums. Talking about the football standards in Asia, let's say, attract a lot of football fans. This is my, let's say, to watching and to cheer for the football matches played by the two teams on the field. 
This is also encouraging not only the players on the field, but also the fans around to the stadiums to cheer for that. I'm also very happy to see right uh, this year's the Asian uh, let's see, uh, club finals have been played in Korea and attract a full stadium with all the spectators to cheer for both sides to play the fantastic footballs on that field. The fact the ACL final is now a one-legged affair has been a major step towards Asian club football reaching international standards. What I'm seeing at the very beginning, right, we have to move forward. And by the time we are moving, it's right, we have to identify which area we should improve, and in which part we should get more professionalism. So I think, right, we are still the beginning of the Asian club leagues, which we need more knowledge and uh, experience. So I cannot give you uh, exactly uh, details of that. So I think right, uh, when the fans, when the players and the, all the administrations all work together, then we'll be found to the best solution. And finally, following the success of 2011, the plan for the year ahead is clear and simple. So well, they're easy to see. Let's work harder, united as one, solid as EFC it is. So move forward as what we see the future is Asia. You can log on to the AFC website for more information on the latest happenings from across the Asian football arena.